Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third episode on Portfolio Revision Formula Plans in which we are going to talk about the Constant Ratio Plan which is pretty similar to the Constant Dollar Plan that we discussed in the second episode of this series. So just like in the Constant Dollar Plan, we are going to divide the portfolio into two components, the Speculative and the Conservative. In addition, we are going to establish a ratio which we are going to call the Speculative to Conservative Ratio. Um, so we are going to have a desired speculative to conservative ratio from the beginning and then we are going to set our trigger point that is we are going to specify um, when the actual ratio differs from the desired ratio by a predetermined amount we need to then rebalance the portfolio. To see how this happens let us take the same data that we have been using uh, from the beginning. So the initial portfolio value is $10,000 and we have broken down the portfolio into two parts a speculative portion and conservative portion you will see a difference in which we are stating the speculative and conservative portions in the constant dollar plan we wrote these numbers in 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 the form of dollars now we are writing them as percentages 40 percent belongs to speculative um, portion of the portfolio and 60 percent belongs to the conservative portion of the portfolio we have also specified the desired speculative to conservative ratio which is 0.67 and the rebalancing thresholds are that if the actual speculative to conservative ratio reaches 1.33 or goes above it we are going to rebalance the portfolio or on the downside if the actual speculative to conservative ratio falls to 0.33 or below we are going to have to step in again to rebalance the portfolio. To see how this happens, we are going to make use of this little table here. Uh, in the first column, we have the value of securities, $10, $20, and $7. The second column describes the speculative portion of the portfolio. The third column describes the conservative portion of the portfolio. In the fourth column, we have the value of the total portfolio, which is a sum total of speculative and conservative parts. The fifth column will uh, keep a track of the speculative to conservative ratio which we can obtain very easily by dividing the amount in column number two uh, with the amount in column number three. In column number six ladies and gentlemen we are going to keep a track of our buying and selling transactions and in column number seven the last column we are going to have the number of securities in the speculative portion. So let us begin the exercise by first of all writing the total portfolio value to begin with which is $10,000, 40% of which belongs to the speculative uh, component. So 40% of $10,000 is $4,000. I fill that in here. And the remaining goes to the conservative portion of the portfolio. Now we have to calculate the speculative to conservative ratio, which we can simply find out by dividing 4,000 with 6,000. When we do that, we are going to obtain a number which is 0.67 that was our desired speculative to conservative ratio right here. Uh, for writing down the number of securities in the speculative portion we simply divide the amount of the speculative portion by the value of securities so 4000 divided by 10 is going to give us 400 securities in the speculative portion to start with. Now in the second row, my friends, uh, the price or the value of these securities has gone up to $20. This means that at a rate of $20 and the fact that I have uh, 400 securities in the speculative portion, the value of the speculative portion is going to be 20 times 400, which is going to give me $8,000. I also have $6,000 in my conservative section which is going to give me a total portfolio value of $14,000. But this will also mean that when I calculate the speculative to conservative ratio here, I will divide the 8,000 by 6,000, which is going to give me 1.33. And I will immediately realize that I have reached a trigger point and I need to rebalance the portfolio. We are going to rebalance the portfolio in the next row. At the moment, let us fill in the value for number of securities in the speculative portion. 400 securities is what we have. And now we need to rebalance in this row. For doing that, we need to understand a few things. We already know that the actual speculative to conservative ratio has gone to 1.33. 
and so there is a need for rebalancing we need to bring this ratio back to 0.67 we can do that by reducing the amount in the speculative portion we need to reduce the amount from 8000 to somewhere which is going to ensure that we uh, arrive at a ratio of 0.67 so we need to reduce the amount in the speculative portion but at the same time we also need to add some amount to the conservative portion so that the total value of the portfolio does not change and also that the ratio between speculative to the conservative parts remains 0.67 now we don't know this amount so um, we need to set up a little section in the rough work we are going to say that the amount is x dollars and we are going to need to satisfy the following condition to arrive at a ratio of 0.67 what we need to do is in the speculative portion we have eight thousand dollars i'm writing that here to this eight thousand dollars we need to subtract something from this eight thousand so i'm writing a minus and we need to subtract x dollars we don't know what that x is at the moment so i write that put this guy inside the brackets and then since i'm calculating a ratio i'm going to divide this whole thing by the conservative part in the conservative part i already have six thousand dollars so i'm going to write here six thousand and to the conservative part i need to add something because if i'm subtracting something from the speculative part I need to add the same thing to the conservative part so that the total portfolio value does not change. So I need to add the same X dollars which I subtracted from the speculative part to the conservative part. And when I calculate this ratio, my answer should be 0 0.67 because that is our desired speculative to conservative ratio. So we can solve this little equation to find out the value of X. I'm going to... Um, annotate this video and you can look at the annotation to see the various steps that we need to take to solve for x those of you who are very good at uh, simple mathematical operations may not even need that annotation um, when we are done solving for x we are going to find this value x is going to be uh, 2000 three hundred and eighty three dollars and two three three five cents this means I need to subtract two three eight three point two three three five from the speculative portion so let me write the new amount in the speculative portion here the existing amount in the speculative portion is eight thousand and I'm going to subtract two three eight three point two three three five from it so the new amount in the speculative portion is now going to be five thousand six hundred and sixteen point seven six six five um i typed a percentage sign whereas it should have been a dollar so now everything is okay now we need to write the amount the new amount for the conservative portion the conservative portion has already six thousand dollars and we need to add something to it so six thousand dollars whatever we subtracted from the speculative portion we are going to add to the conservative portion so two three eight three point two three three five and that is going to give me eight thousand three hundred and eighty three dollars and two three three five cents now this uh, calculation will also mean that the number of securities in the speculative portion here will also change um, we are using two uh, we are uh, selling uh, securities worth two thousand three hundred and eighty three dollars and twenty three cents roughly so that means at the going price of twenty dollars uh, we would have sold two three eight three um, point two three three five divided by twenty and that is going to give us 119.1617 securities roughly in reality it would be just 119 securities because we don't trade in fractions of securities um, this will also mean that the number of outstanding securities in the speculative portion will change we will need to subtract these number of securities from the already existing 400 securities in the speculative portion so now let us complete this row. 
let us write down the new amount in the speculative uh, portion which is this amount here so let us just copy this number from here and paste it at this place this is the new amount in the speculative portion the new amount in the conservative portion is this we have calculated that so we copy and paste it here that's fine and when we add these two numbers it should give us the same fourteen thousand dollars as the total portfolio value now when we calculate the ratio between this number and this number that is the speculative to conservative ratio we should be able to get the same 0.67 let us quickly verify that uh, let me position the calculator somewhere here so 5616.7665 divided by 838 um, 3.2 Two three three five is equal to zero point six seven zero 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 zero. So we are satisfying the requirement. Let me clear the display and minimize this and write zero point six seven here. That is what we wanted. In our transaction column, what we are going to write is sell these many number of securities. So I'm going to write here one hundred and nineteen point one six one seven securities and the new number of securities in the speculative portion will now be 400 minus this number here and that will give me 280.8383 securities remaining uh, ladies and gentlemen I hope this was helpful for you as your homework try this try filling out these two rows of this table when the value of the security falls to um, $7 um, so that you know that you are um, doing your work correctly, I'm going to announce the answers for uh, rebalancing of the portfolio when the security price drops to $7. Um, you will need to add to the speculative portion and subtract from the conservative portion to $186.1667 so that the new speculative amount will be 4152.0348 and the new conservative amount will be 6197.0668 that will mean that the new uh, that the number of securities that you are going to buy will be 312.3095 do that and see if you can get these answers um, for now ladies and gentlemen it's bye bye see you in the final episode of this series shortly bye bye